Hello, my name is Brian Stacks. Uh, this is my Project One Mobile Development Frameworks One review. Uh, what did I do for my project? Well, I'll just go ahead and run my app, sort of show it to you as I explain it. It's just a same, simple app uh, with a table view that goes to a, another view that has the description uh, and it carries over the image over to the next view. It also gives the arena that each team played in uh, but as you can see here's my table view it goes all the way down to Miami there uh, it's just a header it has a edit button um, if you hit the edit button it will actually let you choose which ones to remove and I don't like Duke I'm a Carolina fan so ooh. Delete that and see it stays open even after you delete it. You can delete as many as you want. And if you hit the edit button again, you can go right back and you view without the ones you've deleted. And let's see, I'm a target fan, so we'll click on this first one. It gives you a brings over the image and the name from the first table view. Um, then it adds in the arena information, the Dean e. Smith Center, uh, Wake Forest, yeah, Lawrence Joel. Look, everybody knows they play the Carrier Dome. Let's see, Pitt. I don't know who Pitt. The Peterson Events Center, Houston Stadium. But uh, yeah, that's the simple. Uh, table view with a description view uh, app um, so that's what I did for my project one uh, and I'll go through a little bit of my code as you can see I got all my images here uh, it would probably been better just to make a folder full of images that way it wasn't all out like that uh, here is actually my let me take this off and take this off and this is actually my, my storyboard layout you know you can see starts with the first view here slides over to this view or actually in my case it does a flip cover um, puts the UI imagery there the name goes into this label the arena goes into this label and then the close button that ends on exit here and then takes you back to the first view um, so that is just a visual look to this and here's some of my code and my view controller dot h i have actually you know used the delegates ui table view data source and the ui table view delegate for the ui table view which has built in uh methods and uh usability in the table view um, but then here's just the outlet for my edit button and my table view and my label, my first label. And I think I didn't even need an outlet for that, but it was something I was just practicing with. And then a word array, which stores the array of information that's going to be presented to my table view. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, as you can see in my view controller right in, I've imported all my other classes. My view control, my detail view controller uh, dot H, my custom class header file, and my customized cell header file. We'll get into them in a minute. This is my prepare for segue method that actually sends the data back and forth to the detail. Not back and forth, just, just preparing for the first segue to the um, detail view segue. And this takes the picture and the um, uh, name and puts it on to that where it's the same uh, this done action right here the UI storyboard segue was actually my exit and that's actually all you have to do to exit I didn't even have to put that code in there it was just something I was playing with uh, like the stuff like this right here this is an ESP and API that I was going to try to call in to fill in some of the information um, Still working on it, uh, playing with it, trying to figure that out, like 100%. But this is the data that I'm using in the table view. This is the custom class with the 20 teams. It 
each one has a name, their nickname, their venues, uh, the team color, which could be a hex mode, but I just put it in a string, and then their location. And I didn't even put location all because I ended up like taking that out. And then it has their image. Team one, my image equals UI image, image name, and then it's just the whatever your image name is. And then we got this word array equals a mutable array, and we're going to knit it with all these objects. Team one through team 20. Each is an object that has their own, you know, name, venues, nickname, my image, you know. So that's how the gets actually uh, knitted in the uh, table view and this all this extra code right here was actually part of that ESPN API where I was trying to uh, pull in that information which I did successfully do yet but with the help of actually a fellow classmate I have had uh, some uh, you know moving forward with it I've actually got them in there I'm just really trying to find a way to uh, get an image through their API which I don't think you might be able to so I might have to actually use another API to throw images in on the keyword so that's sort of what I'm having problem with is uh, just an image API to go along with my API but anywho uh, this is the method that deletes let me go ahead and fix that because I misspelled deletes this is the method that deletes the data from the UI table view so when I hit edit and I hit delete this is the editing style this is the main method that you have to have uh, and like you say this is you can just jump to definition there that's exactly where I got this from it was actually there so and that is a method on self or row index path is optional and then of course we've got the required which we're about to go over now um, this is a required method the number of rows in selection I just gave it my word array count um, this is the other require I skipped over that one and this is actually where the cell the customized cell the one customized cell that we created for the table view uh, this is where you give it its information uh, so I got the, all the custom class is a new custom class equals my word array the object at index dot path dot row which would be the one you're selecting um, then you just call the cell which is my customized cell uh, refresh the cell with info of the new custom class dot name then the second string which would be the second label would be the nickname and the cell image would be the custom class my image and then you just return the customized cell sorry and this is my on click method for the editing it was real simple uh, my table view dot editing equals you know toggleable my table view dot editing so that was all just the code into my view controller that's most of the main code that runs back and forth Here's my view controller dot H. Uh, I just added a couple outlets for the detail. I got my um, detail label, title label, my button, detail image. And then I just used the property of my custom class that would be uh, you know reachable through all classes because I called that import that in. And in my view did load, I'm just doing title label dot text equals to self my two current class dot name um, and that's just setting it to the self whatever it whatever which one of them customized cell you selected it's going to use that information to actually put it in to the new current class that's being made and these are your custom classes it just gives some properties that it can use like the name venues and then we'll be, I just synthesize them here, and they'll be, that'll give them the getter and setter methods. Um, they'll be be able to use throughout the thing. And this is my customized cell. 
just use the avoid uh, method here. It gives the first string. Second string is pretty much what we saw earlier. Then I got just got a few outlets here with the image view and my, both my labels in the custom myself. And then my first label you know, equals that. Second string like that. And then it all gets done right over here. We call that method right there we just seen right here. We are calling that method right here in our view controller M so it is accessible here. And that is a review of my Project One and Mobile Development Frameworks uh, Project One. Thank you for watching.